Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I am back with another Modern Warfare commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my ninth monthly review of Modern Warfare. That's right guys, we are now nine months, nine months into Modern Warfare's life cycle and if we are still following that 11 to 12 month life cycle pattern for every COD game, then we may only have two to three months left for Modern Warfare's life cycle. However, I believe that we will see an extension to Modern Warfare's life cycle because as you guys may know, COD 2020 is is most likely going to be getting delayed due to everything that's currently going on in the world right now and for that reason we may see a two to three month extension for Modern Warfare because honestly I personally do not believe that COD 2020 will be ready by October or even November maybe even December then again who knows maybe they may have everything ready by that time and COD 2020 will be getting revealed but that's the thing we haven't even gotten a reveal for COD 2020 yet no teaser trailer no reveal trailer no multiplayer trailer no campaign trailer nothing like that so that's why I don't think it's ready yet, but again, who knows. And even the Modern Warfare's life cycle does end in three months, we are still gonna have Warzone for a very long time since, according to the rumors and leaks, supposedly Warzone is gonna be on COD 2020 as well, so that's also very nice. Anyways, getting back on topic, in this monthly review, as always, I am going to be mainly reviewing multiplayer and Warzone and basically talking about how they both felt this month and... Again, Spec Ops and Campaign, I don't really review those anymore because I, uh, well, one, Spec Ops, I don't play it at all. I have not touched Spec Ops at all these past months, and Campaign, I finished it in the first month, if I'm not mistaken, and I give it a 10 out of 10, and I still hold on to that solid 10 out of 10 because the Campaign was amazing. If you guys haven't given it a try, I suggest you do. And Spec Ops, I only played Survival based off of my experience on there. I gave it a 7 out of 10, so... 10 out of 10 for the campaign and 7 out of 10 for the spec ops and that is pretty much all I have to say about those modes. I wish I could say a lot more for spec ops but I have not been interested in playing it at all. I would rather play zombies honestly and I'm not saying that spec ops is horrible, it looks pretty cool but honestly I would still prefer zombies over that. Lastly guys, this is most likely going to be a shorter monthly review than my previous ones because we're still in season 4, nothing has really been going on with Modern Warfare and multiplayer and Warzone recently and that's understandable because I'm pretty sure Infinity Ward is getting season 5 ready and if I'm not mistaken I think it's going to be releasing on August 5th so again this is most likely going to be a bit shorter but with that being said let's just go ahead and get started. Alright guys let's begin with multiplayer. Now multiplayer has had a couple new updates this month I'm not going to lie about that like for example the season 4 reload and update that was pretty cool because it introduced a new sniper rifle which was the right tech. And it also gave us the new map Cheshire Park, or Cheshire Park, however you pronounce it. We also got playlist updates, new modes, a refresh in the store with new blueprints, new calling cards, new charms, all that kind of stuff, new vehicle horns, a new operator, and we also got bug fixes, nerfs for weapons like the Growl and the CR, especially the Growl because many people were complaining about that weapon being too overpowered and very overrated in the Warzone, and buffs for weapons like the Sniper, so again, it was a pretty good update and a pretty big update as well, I mean it was a title update. But like I said in my previous monthly reviews, I am not complaining about the changes anymore because I've basically adjusted and adapted to this gameplay and there's no reason for me to complain anymore because I mean why should I? And also, Infinity Ward is most likely not going to be implementing any huge changes or overhauls to this game because this is what they wanted for the game this year obviously. I mean even if they do overhaul the game or implement huge changes, I don't think the gameplay would still be really good because we still got maps like Ramaza, Piccadilly, St. Petrograd and all those maps that many people dislike. And <laughs> Oh man, it's always gonna be a camp fest no matter what because of the map design. This time around, we do not have the traditional three lane maps that Treyarch and even Sledgehammer games used to make. And if they added three lane maps to this game, then 100% no doubt in my mind, I feel that the gameplay would change and satisfy many other people. This is why Shoot House is one of the most popular maps here on Modern Warfare along with Shipman because these are three lane maps. Everybody was hyped to play on them ever since um, we saw what Piccadilly, Ramaza and all these maps were like. And to this day, I'm pretty sure everybody thinks that Shipman and Shoe House is still the best map because if you go on Twitter, everybody is always complaining about Shipman or Shoe House going away whenever Infinity War does a playlist update and they remove these maps. So with all that being said, my rating for multiplayer this month would have to be a 7 out of 10, which if I'm not mistaken, that was my rating for multiplayer last month as well. And 
One thing that has been bothering me a lot recently are the matches in progress when you're playing solo. It's honestly crazy how many times you join a match in progress and it's very annoying especially when I'm making a video because I'm trying to get a new match and I just keep joining matches in progress back to back and it just makes everything horrible. So. Yeah guys, 7 out of 10 for MP. Alright, moving on to Warzone. Now, we have had a couple new things going on with Warzone. Like, for example, the new train tracks and new teasers that YouTubers have been getting where it's showing the stadium being bombed and the aftermath of it, a train um, honking and other things like that. So, there is a huge event coming in the future, most likely for Season 5. Not only that, but I've been having so much fun on Warzone recently with my cousins, homies, brother, or whoever. We've been taking many doves back to back, and you guys could also see that I've been uploading a lot of Warzone videos on the channel too, and all that kind of stuff, guys. My favorite playlist that came out this month was, without a doubt, Stimulus Trios. That is a very fun and fast-paced mode, and... It kind of reminds you of Alcatraz from Blackout because of how fast paced it is. But again, I am still waiting for that nuke event. The day that nuke event happens, it's going to be a crazy day because, oh my goodness guys, that teaser that we got in Bunker 11 and if you guys haven't seen already, if you um, get yourself into Bunker 10 with a recon drone, you can see a huge nuke literally as tall as the skyscraper from downtown that is obviously going to be used for something. Might destroy the whole entire map in the later update or something like that. So. Again, guys, I just, oh man, that nuke event, I cannot wait. Season 5 has to be the season where we finally see what happens. So, with all that being said, my rating for Warzone would have to be a 10 out of 10 this month. And it has always been a 10 out of 10 because Warzone is just a ton of fun. And honestly, I cannot wait to get back on it later. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was pretty much my ninth monthly review for Modern Warfare. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't any. And turn on post notifications so you guys are another episode of time I upload. And... Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about Modern Warfare in its ninth month. Did you guys think that it was a boring month? It was cool, it was fun, it was hype, anything, let me know. Again, it was a bit dry, but not really, because we got new teasers for Warzone, that train, the stadium, the nuke, and then we also got that Season 4 Reloaded update for MP and Warzone, so... It wasn't a completely dry month, but again, it's just that nuke event that's been killing me to see what's gonna happen. And <laughs> Oh man guys, season 5. Season 5 has got to be the season where we finally see what happens in the world of Rudansk. So yeah guys, but anyways, I'm gonna want to get back on the grind. So for the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't made sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Sunday. And with all that being said, it's been John. Ready to get back on the grind and waiting for that nuke event in season 5. And I'm out. Peace.